In this video, we're going to work on an Easter themed cake topper. First up, we're going to do this Easter bunny holding an Easter egg. To do that, first we're going to start with a round piece of fondant. Then we roll it into a ball and flatten it with the palm of our hand. Then we will shape it into a rounded rectangle. Now using a small piece of pink fondant, we're going to roll it and pinch it on the sides to make a small triangle for the nose. Now get your brush, put a bit of water, and stick that nose in the middle of the face. Now we're going to work with the eyes. So let's start with a small piece of brown fondant. Lay it down on the mat and cut it in the middle so you get almost the same size of eyes. Then we're going to roll these up to make happy eyes. So I just use my palm and my finger to roll these out. Now using my nail and my knife, I just compress that to make little U's. So before we stick the eyes on, I'd like to get some brown petal dust and I'm going to dab a little under the left eye. So a little oval for the eye and then I'm going to start putting the other eye. Just again using water and the tip of my knife. And, don't, and remember not to put water on the patch because it's going to smudge the petal dust. So instead put the water on the eye and stick that on. You can use the tip of your knife to pick up small details. You can also use your knife to just move things into the proper place. Now with this very thin piece of fondant, we're just going to cut a very short piece to put under the nose for the mouth. And I'm going to cut another piece and stick that under there. Now we're going to work on the ears with two balls of white fondant and roll that out on your palm to form carrots. And then using a Dresden tool, we're gonna put a hole in the middle and drag it all the way down the tip. So let me just test that out for size and see if that looks good. Yep, that's good. But we're still gonna have to trim a bit off from the tip so we have a flat surface to stick on the head. So do that on both ears. And before we stick it on, so we're just trying here for size again and just, you know, shape it a bit. But before we stick them on, we're going to take some pink petal dust, dab it on the tissue and just color in the center of the ears. Okay, so the do it also in the folded ear even though it might not be seen, but it's all right. Now with a bigger brush, I'm going to get more pink and just going to start blushing. Put blush on on my bunny. All right. Okay, oops. We're still going to need the brown using another brush. We're going to put brown um, petal dust on one ear to match the eye patch. Don't forget the sides, okay? Okay, now we're ready to stick. But before I stick things, I like to put a little platform behind the ears to make sure that the, the ears stay in place while the water dries. Make sure to put a lot of cornstarch on it so that the pieces don't stick to the platform. So I'm just folding this one, make sure that it doesn't go out of shape, and then just put it on there. So now we're going to work with the body. Again, we're going to start with a round piece of fondant and roll it out into a cone. And then flatten it out a bit and see that top part or the right side of the body. We're going to pinch it out a bit with the help of um, my veining tool. I'm just going to mark where it's going to be stretched out. And that will be our leg. So we're just going to shape that, pull it a bit longer, shape it, make sure it's thinner than the rest of the body. Um, and then using my fingers, just pinch out little feet and smooth it out with my Dresden tool. Make sure that um, there are no sharp edges. And just smoothen, smoothen it out. 
and elongate the neck, put the little arc on the body. And then we're gonna cut off the tip because it's too long, basically. So we're gonna stick that on and move forward with our tail. So just take a little piece of white fondant and stick that to the butt. All right, so the last thing we'll need after this one are the arms. So two pieces of small fondant, roll it out again into little cones. And here I already have my Easter egg, which we'll, we will put um, here in the side of the bunny. So it'll look like the bunny's holding it. But first off, we're going to have to trim off the first arm. Make sure that you cut a line to the body and stick that on. And then we're going to put the adhesive or water on the arm and a bit on the face so that we can stick the Easter egg right there. And just put more water on the arm, on the other arm, and stick that on top of the Easter egg. That's it, this is our bunny. And if you feel like it, you can dab a bit more brown petal dust on the butt. And that's it. Thank you for watching this Easter bunny cake tutorial. If you wanna see how I made the other details of this cake, don't forget to check out our YouTube and follow us. Thanks for watching.